we're gonna have a quick, quick because I could swear I could take hours on this. We're gonna have a quick discussion yet again about one Candace Owens. I'm gonna make a a I'm gonna make a declarative statement. Some people might like it, some people might not. Candace Owens is a race traitor. Whoa, that was big. Why is she a race traitor? Let's take her own words. Yo, no funny shit though. No funny shit though. Um, I don't know if you know him. Uh, Kevin Tavares. You might have. I don't. I don't know if if that if you've ever been in that circle of people. But we were just talking about like smashes become hot. <laughs> smashes hot him now. <laughs> That's it. I don't. That's all it is. All right, why is Candace Owens a race traitor? Well, you might say that that statement isn't going to be proven by anything that I'm going to say today, and I'm going to hope that I land on a tweet of hers that, like, really gets the point across. But let's talk about this one real quick. Not an insurrection. Feminists storm the Capitol, chase congr- congressmen in hallways, and try to intimidate them against voting for Brett Kavanaugh. Not an insurrection. BLM stormed D.C., put chains and ropes around federal statues to tear them down and set fires around the White House. LOL. Except, of course, no one in BLM ever tried to overthrow a government, assassinate and hang government leaders. BLM just asked that they stop being killed and abused by law enforcement. See the difference? That's a bad argument. You shouldn't have said that out loud because you're definitely going to get ratioed hard. Um, I, to which I will again say, what was the purpose of this? Don't vote for Brett Kavanaugh. He got in anyway. BLM stormed D.C., put chains and ropes around federal statutes to tear them down, set fires around the White House. What was the point of that? What was the point of the people in the MAGA crowd going in to the Capitol, literally calling for the execution of people? I don't see executions here. I don't see executions here. Hmm. I wonder. To all the left is crying because Texas and Mississippi have announced they will resume freedom shit argument from the beginning did you know that you are still welcome to stay in your home all day and double mask you don't need a government mandate to be a paranoid recluse i have family in texas they're not paranoid recluses but rather responsible citizens who care about themselves and those around them irresponsible reopening endangers them the insanity of endowing public policy with the ethos of pure selfishness is nothing texas should be proud of and so it begins selfish is letting is letting known covid be released at the border Selfish is requiring tests by U.S. citizens and letting people at the border not have to be tested. Selfish is a razor wire fencing around the Capitol with tons of guardsmen and women while screaming defund the police. None of those shits make any fucking sense. Nothing you have said in this entirety of this point, of the point you just typed, makes any fucking sense. With all due respect, if they're terrified of corona, then please let them know they can stay in the house and go out with a mask on. But stop demanding us neighbors live in the same fear they chose for themselves. What the fuck are you talking about? I've had 117 people die from coronavirus Like I, during this period of time. I don't understand where you get the idea that not wearing a mask is freedom and wearing a mask is be Like, what the fuck are you on, bro? It's it's the same, and it's the repeated argument again. Nobody's saying that you have to do what I'm doing, but I'm going to continue to live in freedom. That's the selfishness. That's the that's the selfishness. That's the selfishness. That's the scary ass selfishness that you keep talking about. But somehow you don't get the contradiction in your own fucking statements. Candace Owens is a grifter. Thanks for the lecture, princess. Your cousins are welcome to wear a hazmat suit to the grocery store to avoid those who dare walk around like human beings. Your insinuation that choosing freedom over fear is selfish is why you were not fit to lead this great country. And then Dave Rubin coming in. She's a real piece of work. When our interview ended, she told me that she is basically a libertarian that the left had gone completely insane. Slightly different than the meshes on camera. Dude, Dave, it's not cool to advertise with someone confines you understand your commitment highlighting. Your comment highlighting the necessity of authenticity, but it's an unkind thing to broadcast comments made off the record. Candace get, Candy gets triggered so easily. The hazmat suit comment was done before and it's dumb now. Uh, planning fit, though. Obviously, I've not gotten your vote. Ain't America great. Who's calling who a princess? 
Uh, <laughs> Hello, Pop, the credit quote. Most people don't realize you are married to one of the British privileged guys whose daddy sits now as the Lord, so do they stuff it in your ear, princess? Freedom does not override science. It's dangerous to walk around without a mask on because you risk infecting other people if you do. If you have the virus and don't know about it, there are many people who are asymptomatic. We wear masks to avoid infecting other people. Now, I know this detracts from the point I had already just made about Candace being a race traitor, but here's where I'm going to dive into that, this, this little pocket here. The hazmat suit shit, that's conservative talk. That's literal, like, I'm running through the bases here. I'm doing whatever I can to, like, to, like, aggravate the libs. That's what that's about. To avoid those who dare to walk around like human beings. So the people who wear masks aren't human beings. The people who have died from COVID aren't human beings. You see where the layers don't stack up? You keep talking about freedom, freedom, freedom. But it's like people have lost loved ones to this. Shit has become tragic for them because nobody seems to care about this fucking virus. So it is so weird to me that you keep talking about freedom. You can do everything you want to do. Just wear a fucking mask. I'm so confused at how... You you complain about, oh, I don't get to go outside. You can stay in your house all you want. Like, people go outside with fucking masks on. Like, oh, my God, you know. You know. Oh, fuck. And here, 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 here comes the race trader part. Here comes the race trader part. Black culture honestly breaks my heart. Why? It disintegrated so quickly from topics of faith, family, and love to absolute debauchery. We went from the temptations and Commodores to naked women debasing themselves in the blink of an eye. We are ruining black children with false idols. Your stereotypical definition of black culture honestly breaks my heart, but you can't help yourself. Why is somebody ringing my doorbell right now? Uh, yeah, that, that doesn't work. That, that, that is lie. By basically, so basically by disintegrated, you mean moved away from traditional ideas of family and sexuality. I personally don't think this is a bad thing in and of itself. It comes with negative consequences at times, but overall I think more cultural freedom is a good thing. There is some truth to this, but it's not new. More important is a long list of successful people representing the black culture. Focus on them, Candace, even if their last name is Obama or Harris. Like... We went from the Huxtables, the Winslows, and the Jeffersons to the cast of Love and Hip Hop, and we think it's racism that's keeping us from excelling in this country. This culture was not created by us. It was designed for us. Few have the courage to call it out. Yeah, I don't see a problem with that. Um, few have the courage to call it out. We went from the Huxtables, the Winslows, and the Jeffersons to the cast of Love and Hip Hop. So you are ignoring black culture that exists now because you think it was more wholesome back then. I would like to point you to a show called All in the Family. It's not about black culture. It's about culture. <laughs> it's about television and what grabs ratings. It has jack shit to do with black culture. That's a lie. That's, the, that's, that's, that's. That's bad faith. This culture was not created by us. It was designed for us. No, it was created by us and it always existed because it's literally skipping over NWA. It's literally skipping over Jay-Z. It's literally skipping over uh, 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 other shows like One on One. It's skipping over a different world. Like, See, like that's how I know it's bad faith. That's why she's a race trader. She'll pick apart black culture for its negatives is considered by her and then use that as the basis for a thought real as shit you have ever will read on twitter today twitter may have trained us twitter twitter may have trained you to hate the messenger but only a fool would deny the truth of this message like to think anything on tv defines who we are as bs 
That's Coon TV. So it's fitting for these two. Yep. And who designed it? Because last time I checked, there weren't a whole lot of black folks running things in Hollywood and media and business. So again, who designed it? Each time you blame someone or someone else, you give away your power, wake up and stop blaming, do something with your power. While you shouldn't spend all your time blaming others, there's something called accountability. Too many folks think they can say, do whatever they want, then they cry about they're being attacked. Literally, this is the ultimate declaration of helplessness. They did it. I had no part. Oh, my God. Why do we have people constantly labeling what black culture is, yet we never see this with other cultures? Why do people insist on trying to label culture and define black culture? Yeah, see, that's baiting. That's a race baiting, and you are a black person. So for you to consistently highlight the negatives and that we have to fight against it to own our decisions and be better means you just want us to be more like white people. See, white people aren't like promoting this and that and doing all this and that. It's just black people, and that's what's holding us down. Ironically, though, the successes of the black community are coming from those who gain these positions using these platforms to espouse the good things about black people and why they should be treated better in society. So either you are doing this on purpose to grift or you are a literal race traitor. See how I can make that point? Let's go to the next one. LOL. Black activists are demanding millions for Black Lives Matter, Inc. after learning they raised $90 million last year off of dead black faces. I told you guys for two years straight the money is used to fund white Democrats, but you didn't listen. They won't get the money, obviously, but by next election cycle, they will be back in the streets again, rioting and looting on behalf of the same organization, which will raise even more millions, culminating in black communities still not seeing a dime. Rinse and repeat. Please tell me somebody broke this shit down. Michael Brown's father, Ferguson's active, ran $20 million. From, let's read it. Oh, it's the Daily Mail, so that doesn't help. We see that you're using an ad blocker. Uh, Michael Brown's father and other Ferguson activists met 20 million after working with them, 9 million donation. Ferguson, Missouri activists claim they haven't received any newly revealed money for the Black Lives Matter. They were using money for the foundation. Says he received just $500 from Michael Brown Jr. Okay. To this date, Mike Brown's father said that he's received only $500 from any Black Lives Matter affiliated group, even though they organize an annual uh, commemoration weekend for their son, along with many other events with other families for healing and empowerment. Yeah, because the money is going other places. That's what it is. So she didn't read the article. She just picked the headline. Black activists are demanding millions from Black Lives Matter, Inc. That's not even the, that's not even the. (sighs) It's a foundation, not an Inc. They're being transparent. Look at that. Literally that. Black activists. Why is skin color here? Significant racist. That's I know what he's trying to say there. Um, I don't care if the money goes to black people, white people, as long as whoever has the power to spend that money puts it back in the black communities. That's why I was raised. That's where it should go. I don't care about the person who writes it. I haven't seen a dime. I need my money directly to myself. And just like that, and just like that, we can believe what Mike Brown's father says. Why can't so should I trust the word of ghetto scum whose child tried to attack a police officer? Now, all of a sudden, we can't take the words of Mike Brown's parent, but we don't take their about their child. Huh? What the fuck? Like, you can see the finances and people like these comments. It's not hard to grift the poorly educated. That's why you're here, right? Donald Trump received over $200 million in, in in donations to fight election fraud that didn't exist. Just putting that out there. Just putting that out But of course, she's going to get a lot of detractors. The person named Woman of the Year by Billboard is a woman who made a song about how wet her vagina gets. What message does that send to young black girls? See, 
that you see what I mean about people who say, why is race being brought up in everything? We even covered Candace Owens saying, why would you bring up race about that? What does that have to do about black girls? This I'm ranting because I was listening to Luther Vandross and Stevie Wonder this morning. So listen to that. Why are you hating? If you don't want to listen to that type of music, then don't listen to it. Exactly. But why Woman of the Year? What's the accomplishment? How is she a role model? Are you going to go on the award or something? Who cares about an award? No more than six. Boys, and, how about, not about that. Cardi B is a role model, yet her, her content isn't okay. We sense other role models because the content isn't. A woman who should be canceled for literally and probably a minute she drugged and robbed men and knows what else should not be Woman of the Year. Yeah, I'm already... I'm already... And you voted for president number 45 who said, I love grabbing girls by the vagina. What does that show about your moral indignity? You just voted, you voted for, yeah. Literally, yeah. What does this send to young girls? What is, message does this send to young black girls? A person named Woman of the Year by Billboard. A Woman of the Year as a musical artist. Not as it's not like she was on Time Magazine. Bad faith. Bad faith. Terribly bad faith. LOL to Democrats pretending there's some obscure threat to the Capitol so they continue justifying the military occupation of D.C. There's obviously no threat, which is why they are scant on details. This occupation was planned and had nothing to do with January 6th. What the? F That's like pretending the Capitol attack didn't happen. Bro, you're really saying there's no way the people that attacked the Capitol and got away with it will do it again? A police officer died on January 6th. People were chanting, hang on, uh, Mike Pence. No, no threat indeed. So the people who did it can't get riled up to do it again? Wow, amazing, amazing. It started with Pelosi pu pu uh, pulling security details and denying National Guard on January 6th. They're inciting fear, which is far, far worse than inciting virus. There's so much to unpack here. You haven't heard. Yeah, like literally, it, that's just lie. So let me get this straight. It's okay to militarize schools and police, but not okay to provide security for a place that was recently attacked, correct? Do you guys see what I mean about her being a race traitor? Here we go. Okay, here we go. But it's really quite simple. You know, um, workers compete with other workers. It's, it's that simple. They're not competing with employers. They compete with other workers for jobs. And when you artificially raise um, the wage, it's not going to ha harm employers. They're just going to hire less people. Um, and so less workers are going to be hired. And that really hits at what you're talking about, Sean, which is it always leads to mass <coughs> unemployment. So it may sound good when she's out there saying, oh, we're going to raise the federal minimum wage act so that you can get a, 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 you know, a, a higher pay. But you're not going to get the job because there's going to be less jobs available it's really that simple and it's so it's really not that simple that's not how economics works so important that we communicate these ideas to the young people because that's exactly who aoc is preying upon that's exactly who the democrats pay upon they prey upon people that are naive and who people who want to believe um, in this utopian society that can never really exist all of that is a lie so we have 17 million Americans looking for jobs as a result of the worst pandemic since 1917 and 18. Uh, then we've got anywhere between 11 and 15 million illegal immigrants that now will be competing for jobs. Competing for those jobs. Illegal immigrants competing for those jobs that you'd have to get documented for to which they could figure out that quite literally they wouldn't be allowed to work there. Fox News is a cancer. And add to that all these high paying career energy jobs written away with the stroke of a pen from Biden. They'll all be competing for jobs. So now we're looking literally at a situation where you have millions and millions of people competing for fewer and fewer jobs, especially with draconian shutdowns. What does that do, Candace? Supply demand crisscross. It will drive wages down even lower, won't own it. Mm. Absolutely. You know, this is a socialist reverie and it's a capitalist nightmare. You know, we understand what's going to happen. The writing is really on the wall with this. And it's, it's scary because they've had so much success in pushing forth these policies and people are just. We've had so much success. That's why literally nothing has gotten passed because we've had so much success. That's what I mean. That's a high, that's, that's hyperbole. That's hyperbole.
that 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 is a lie that you just said on Fox News. It's not educated about them because everything sounds so good on paper uh, with these socialists, but it, it just doesn't work. It does not work. And I also challenge people to go ahead and, and look up the history of minimum wage, federal minimum wage um, laws in this country and see who was pushing for them. It was always a means to keep low skill workers um, out of the working climate. This actually in, in studying Thomas Sowell, I know that black people, when they said we'll compete for these jobs, we'll do these jobs for less. Um, Stop quoting Thomas Sowell, please. I remember that one account that just would never stop on Trump's Twitter quoting Thomas Sowell. You I know, mean, a lot of racist Democrats got together and said yes. we need to establish a minimum wage to keep these low skill workers out. Um, so this is all the stuff that people should be learning in school, but they're not, of course, because we're, we're busy learning about how to hate America um, and why, why people are terrible. So I would pay so much money. I would pay so much money to debate Candace Owens. I would pay thousands of dollars to debate her date i would debate her mm. let's see aoc attended boston university where she double majored in international relations and economics graduating cum laude um cum laude um candace dropped out of college pretty sure we all <clears throat> know which one knows the facts here <clears throat> candace owens is wrong though numerous studies have confirmed that a minimum wage hike would have little effect on job numbers most economists agree with aoc also a minimum wage was higher in real dollars in the 60s and there was no issue correct uh, Denmark doesn't have a minimum wage. That is true. What they do have is incredibly strong <clears throat> unions that have fought and won good wages for employees in the country. So Denmark shows just what can be achieved by supporting unions. I'm 16 and I can obliterate it. Name one debate. Never names a debate. This is what the, that's what they fear. Utopia. People like Candace Hull are only hate and division. She knows Utopia puts her out of business. Correct. <clears throat> Minimum wage is not a living wage in America unless you have multiple jobs. That is such an easy way to control the masses. Never let them have time for, from fighting for survival to question anything that the radical right does. It is cruel and sad. Yep. <laughs> You're an AOC fan. Name five sucks. Uh, 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 um, um, tax the rich, eat the rich, two hits. Agree New Deal. Uh, minimum wage. Just give me one second. So that's a lie. That's a fucking lie. I guess we're going to keep going. The American people want to believe that we have a justice department that is committed to justice. Historically, that has not always been the case. Presently, that doesn't appear to be the case either. Our FBI should not be showing up at doors to intimidate conservatives. Is this about the, is this about the um, January 6th insurrection? Probably. Yeah, that's Trump's legacy. 
you're okay with what happened on January 6th then. I'm not. And if the FBI comes to your house because of it, I'd say you had it coming. Again, the leap from one to the other is logically false. The FBI isn't showing up to intimidate, nor they're doing it to conservatives. They have a duty to investigate, and they're approaching people who have a connection to a violent insurrection, regardless of opinion. And here come... I don't, I, 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 the guy came. Like, I didn't even expect that. Because he came at like 12.45. <laughs> so they have a duty to investigate Hunter Biden and his alleged links with Ukrainian criminals. They have a duty to investigate Schiff. They have a duty to investigate child sex trafficking. But have they? Please, you cannot be so necessary, whatever. That's, they did all that. About 10 of my friends who attended Trump's speech but did not go to the Capitol building thereafter have had the FBI turn up at their door to ask them why they went to D.C. This is criminal intimidation. Our FBI is trying to scare conservatives against even gathering in the future. What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? To borrow your own logic when you're on the opposite end of these situations, what do they have to be intimidated by? It's just an investigation. They should be fine as they have long nothing to hide, right? Yep. week whatever this tweet is unavailable i'm a huge supporter of law enforcement what is happening right now in america is not about enforcing any laws it's political harassment plain and simple and every american should be outraged about it conservatism is not a crime if you have been listening to this stream anytime between the hours of like three hours ago and four hours ago i will repeat this again for you you do not have to own the negative racial epitaphs that other people in your group do. You just continue to own it, therefore self-owning yourself when you post dumb shit like that. That's crazy to me. Our FBI under J. Edgar Hoover was created to intimidate and harass black male American citizens who went against their preferred politics. Martin Luther King Jr. was one of their many targets. It is appalling to think that under Joe Biden, they're harassing Trump supporters. The leap? The leap? Somebody help me. The leap? MLK and Trump supporters are not on the same level. So you're equating the civil rights movement a bunch of saps who tried to overthrow the election result they didn't agree with by storming the Capitol? Okay. I don't understand this tweet. Fox News and the GOP senators have said it was Antifa. Are you suggesting that Trump supporters are Antifa? Amazing. Amazing. This makes it all the more important that conservatives continue to come together. Democrats have polluted our Department of Justice to do their bidding. This is unactionable thuggery, and it has no place in a free country. Operation Legend. Literally the guy who got executed by marshals without a fair trial. It is like the cognitive dissonance is so turning. It's like y'all can't y'all got to see this as a grift, right? Y'all, y'all can't really believe this. Either masks work or they don't work, but it can't be both. If they do work, then the lockdown, lock us down forever, folks, should continue to wear them and thus be protected from everyone else. If masks don't work, then why the hell were they ever mandated in the first place? Please somebody break down science to this lady. Condoms work, but are far more effective when used correctly and when both partners are practicing safety. This, the same goes for masks. If I'm wearing my mask, but you, bless you, but you aren't, you can infect me. The people who don't wear masks are spreading it. Duh. The argument has been that the masks protect everyone else from the wearer, not the wearer themselves, which means they only work well if everyone wears them. It's the same reason surgeons wear masks. It protects the person from being operated on, not the surgeon. It's easy. 
But surgeons don't wear homemade cloth masks. It isn't the same at all. Do what you can. You're not just going to do anything because as a Karen, it's just inconvenient for you. Yeah. It's not about your health. It's about compliance. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, God, Candace Owens, if she hasn't gotten her vaccine already, she's going to catch COVID and then be like, I beat it, guys. See, the Democrats were lying. I can see the playbook a mile away. And my problem is that people in actual power just let it happen. Like, you cannot let... This is what leads me to say things like Candace Owens' Twitter should be revoked. But she's not really saying anything that can't be debunked. So I guess it stays up. Freedom of speech. Freedom of, of, of the thought. You know, freedom of whatever. Just stop. I'm just asking you for a second to stop and think about what you're saying before you say it. I love watching straight women pretend like gay panic never happened in the 90s. You're saying the exact same shit about trans women as they were saying about gay women 30 years ago. Yep. Think about whenever we say nationalism, the first thing people think about, in at least in America, is Hitler. You know, he was a national socialist. But if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. I, I cannot. I cannot, for the love of me, tell you how bad these takes are. This is this is a new level of grift. It's effectively saying that, like, you, the their whole identity is counterculture. Whatever the left says, we're gonna do the opposite. Jesus Christ, man! Donald Trump is more of a feminist icon than any woman breathing who works to legitimize the diabol the diabolical effort from the LGBT community to erase what it means to be a woman. Dear feminists, your silence is violence. Wow. 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 Yeah, that, that, that was my argument. That was my argument, yeah. That was, that was my argument. Wow, this is... All right, I'm done with the Candace Owens segment for today.